Hey everybody. Hello, this is Tracy. I'm Tracy from Tracy's Fancy and I am working on a project right now that I decided I would jump on here and share with you. I am working on a cabinet that I'm actually going to blog about. It's um, a very, very early American cabinet that's got these carvings on the doors that I didn't like and I'm taking it to, like, uh, to a farmhouse vibe level. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Let me jump right to it. <clears throat> uh, the carvings that were in the doors were these flowers. Hold on. Um, let me turn it to where you can see. Okay. I don't know if you can see um, there on the cabinet door, but where this flower, <laughs> look at my hands, where this flower was, um, it was deep. I mean, it was probably carved in about that deep. And it was just a little, a little hokey to me. Hokey is the word. And yeah, I'm really going to use that word. But podunk is another word. <laughs> I didn't like it. But the cabinet's cute. It's a, it's a china cabinet. It's um, a three doors wide and it, it has a hutch over here that I'm working on also. Anyway, um, I'm trying to cover these flowers and I would fill them like I've done on many carvings on furniture that I didn't want. Um, I, I wood filled it. It took a lot of wood filler and I had to do it several times and sand it back and it would chip out and um, I, I, after about three applications, um, I decided it was good enough and I painted it and you can still see through it. You can see, you can still see it because I'm trying to go light. So I decided that I would add texture to these door fronts cause I'm kind of over it. So, um, and I am getting my hair done on Friday. Thank goodness. Cause I'm going like full brunette here. Um, <clears throat> which is fine, but it's looking, talk about talk about podunk. Uh, so anyway, I decided to add texture. So what I've done, I'm going to show you um, what process I'm in right now. I Okay, this is the door. If those of you have just gotten on, this is the door. You can still see the flower in there and see some of it's kind of chipped. And that's with like two coats of paint covering it. So I wasn't going to work. So I decided to do my crocodile stencil, which I know I've shown y'all before on blogs, but I don't know if I've done a live. So I decided to do a live. Mixed with my paint um, right here. I have a bowl of paint, just a small bowl of paint. Let me show you. And then I used this um, Venetian Texture Medium by Heirloom Traditions. So I mixed in this bowl, which is just a small styrofoam bowl, um, I mixed about two. Okay, am I back? Anyway, I mixed about two teaspoons of the Venetian texture and I stir it up and then I apply this with a with my fingers. So this is the door half done. This is so easy, you guys. So I decided to show you over here. Um, is anyone can anyone hear me? Hello, am I alone? If I'm alone, that's okay. Someone will see it later, but I'd love to know if you're there. Here's the stencil. I've got it on the third door. So I've got one door without it that you can still see the flower, one that's halfway done, and one that I'm in the process of doing. So I use my fingers. I know that you can use like a spackle blade or whatever, and I'm just not good at that. So right here, this is stuck up here because I've already added texture. I just scoop a little bit up and I literally just spread it, um, spread it over with my fingers. It's super easy. So I'm gonna do this real fast and then I'm gonna pull it off and show you how easy it is to pull it off. So when I finish this and um, other door. So I can leave it plain like this, but I probably am gonna use a weathered, um, like a barnwood glaze over this whole thing and it just makes the crocodile pattern show up so beautifully. I have a website, uh, tracysfancy.com and I, if you go on the website and, and um, search crocodile finish, I've done this crocodile texture finish in several different colors. Um, you can check that out, but I just wanted to show y'all in action. Okay, so here it is. It's all covered. I think I've got all the edges. All right, I'm gonna pull it off. See that? I'm gonna pull it off, you wanna watch? It's my favorite part. Ooh, see how cool that is? Yeah, perfect. 
So you'll get, sometimes you'll get like these little extra pieces right here. You just wanna kind of flick those off. Um, like I said, you don't have to use your fingers, but I do. I just go in and kind of clean up the edge a little bit. And then you just let it dry. It dries really quickly. And um, you don't even have to let it dry before you move down. I'm gonna move down as soon as I'm, I'm through videoing. I'm gonna move down to this next level. So I, I could literally texture these three front doors in about, um, I don't know, 10 minutes. Probably 10 minutes. So I don't know if my connection's bad. It says I have people watching that I've got guys on here, but got you guys on here, but no one, oh, I got a, I got a thumbs up. So someone can see me. Sometimes out here in my garage, it's kind of sketchy. Um, but does anyone, anyone have any questions about what I'm doing? The stuff, like I said, you want to know what it was again? Let me turn you around. Hold on. Sorry. Um, it's this Venetian texture medium and you can add it to any paint. <clears throat> you can stir it into any paint and that bowl that I used, I used about two teaspoons of it and you just stir it up and it makes this paste. You can do it with any color paint and it makes a paste and you can use, you can use any stencil. You can use damask or um, leopard or any stencils that you have that you want and you just make a service. I'm going to do these three doors and I'm going to do the, the drawers that are on the top too. So, um, hi Janie. Hi Sasha. Thanks y'all for popping on. I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted to show y'all how, um, how easy it is and how cool it looks. <laughs> hi mom. Um, that look cool and it's gonna be so much cooler dry glazes so that'll be a blog post um, probably in another week or so and I will post that here on Facebook so you guys can check out the whole project going from an early American kind of not so cute China cabinet to what I think is gonna be really cute so anyway um, love you guys thanks for following thanks for watching and I hope my connection wasn't too bad talk to you later bye